Hi everyone, my name is David White and I'm the Content Marketing Director here at Connected Free. Today I want to do a quick vlog on creative outreach. Now, as an industry, we talk about creative ideas all the time, and rightly so, because the better the idea, the more chance you are of going viral, of gaining links, of getting your content in front of the right people at the right time. But one thing that we don't really talk about is being creative with outreach. I think that many people think that outreach is quite a simple task when realistically it's not. I think people think it's easy as finding relevant journalists, using a media database, throwing out an email and seeing what sticks. I mean, don't get me wrong, there is part of doing that, but that's only 5-10% of the overall story. When you're outreaching a campaign to drive real results, to drive the real big links, to drive the super relevant links, you have to think out of the box and you have to be a bit creative. For example, you know, links don't just come from newspapers and editorial sites. Have you tried going to local businesses? If you're running a campaign around dogs, as an example, have you been to local dog shelters or anywhere like that? Or if you're running a campaign around flowers, have you been to local florists who have blogs? There are millions and millions of websites on the web that you can get links from, which aren't from newspapers, editorial, etc. So try focus on local businesses, see who's got a blog, see who's relevant, see if you can contact them. Another one as well is local government sites, hugely powerful links, okay, .gov sites or even education sites, .edu or anything like that. If relevant and you have a regional angle, why are you not going to these places? If you have an angle, for example, on Sheffield, then we should be going to Sheffield government because they have a blog on their website and they're always trying to promote things that are happening in their local area. Even places like visitsheffield.com might be able to pick up your campaign. Now, absolutely, you have to email journalists in national papers, in regional papers, radio sites, TV stations, all that kind of stuff that you see happening day in, day out. That stuff is just a given. But when you do that and you also are creative about outreach by targeting local businesses, by targeting government authorities and places like that, that's when you see real, real results. Another part of being creative about outreach as well is just following the data. Again, I think what I see quite a lot when I see people doing outreach campaigns is that they're just jumping blind. They think it's as simple as create a campaign, create an email and a press release and a list of journalists and throw it out. That's, that's not at all. Why would you jump into that blind? You need to understand what works and what doesn't work. You need to understand what's worked for you in the past and what hasn't worked for you in the past. What's working right now for your competitors? What are your competitors talking about on their newsletters? What kind of content are they producing? Are they pushing out? By taking all this information, by analyzing competitor newsletters, competitor blogs, competitor link activity, using tools such as Ahrefs and BuzzSumos to see what new linking domains your competition have got, then you can understand what's working well for them and you can steal their tactics and use them for your own benefit. Don't jump into outreach blinds. Follow the data, understand what's working, understand what's not working, and I guarantee you, you are more likely to have a successful campaign. It's only a really short vlog, but it's one that I feel quite passionate about. Link building is, is something that I've done for the past nine years. It's something that me and my team do every single day, super successfully. We build really relevant media lists. We create creative campaigns. We have relevance to the core of everything we do and we push out and we build huge links. But on top of that, we are always trying to think outside the box. How can we build links within what, with journalists as well as local businesses, as well as local government sites, as well as things like that? And that's why we see the results that we do. And I think if you follow that kind of mindset, you'll see bigger results as well. Finally, and last minute on this, one thing that I'm seeing quite a lot as well across a few of my clients is the issue of affiliate links. If you are an e-commerce site, then you may have an affiliate uh, kind of program set up with every national and regional newspaper on the web. And you're probably going to try and get links from other sites that don't have that affiliate tracking on. If you follow what I just said earlier in this vlog, you are much more likely to see them links come through to your site and pass SEO value. Um, and that's it really. Like I say, outreach isn't as simple as just throwing an email out there. You need to think out the box, you need to think creatively, always create creative content, always have relevance in the heart of everything that we do. But if you follow what I've just said, I can guarantee that you'll see your results increase tenfold. If you have any questions on this, I would love to kind of chat. Uh, so please feel free to reach me on Twitter or come through to the Connected Free site. Uh, but thank you for listening and stay safe.